My name is Dr. Drew Bird, and I'm a pediatric allergist at UT Southwestern in Dallas, Texas, and the director of the Food Allergy Center. And I've been asked to answer the question, what is a food allergy? And the term food allergy refers to an immune response to a food protein um, that's differentiated from a food intolerance, uh, which actually refers to characteristics of the food. And you may be familiar with uh, food intolerance symptoms like lactose intolerance. Uh, but a food allergy, on the other hand, can be very, very severe and sudden onset and can lead to life-threatening types of reactions in some circumstances. So the most common type of food allergy that we refer to is an IgE-mediated food allergy. Those uh, reactions are typically caused by eight common foods or food groups, but it can be caused by any food. The most common foods are milk, eggs, wheat, soy, peanuts, tree nuts as a group, fish, and crustacean shellfish. Symptoms of those reactions are immediate and onset, and they characteristically affect organ systems like the skin. You can have urticaria, you can have swelling. They can affect the respiratory system, so sneezing, uh, copious mucus production from the nose, difficulty breathing, coughing or wheezing may be symptoms. You can have GI symptoms like vomiting, abdominal cramping, diarrhea. Again, sudden onset often accompanied by the other symptoms. And in rare circumstances, the reactions can be life-threatening and can cause hypotension or low blood pressure. And so in patients who have IgE-mediated food allergies, we recommend they strictly avoid those allergens altogether, that if they are leaving the house or anytime they're eating out, they have auto-injectable epinephrine with them in case of potentially having a life-threatening reaction. And we know that these reactions can be, because of the, the severity of the reaction and because of the difficulty in avoiding the foods very uh, closely, that it can have a significant impact on the quality of life. And so it requires a lot of education, oftentimes working with dietitians to get our patients safe and working on the right diet to keep their child healthy and growing appropriately. For more information, go to the Quad AI website to learn more about food allergies.